Hey, back again with new video, guys. This is Sampath. You're watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel, and this is Poco X Ray the Slash NFC Custom ROM Rose. Back with new video. Now the superior extended has changed its name. Now it is known as Infinity X version 1.0, and you can see the version on 5th May 2024 is the security patch, guys. And 4.14.343 kernel has been used here. May 15th. This is the latest build available for. Poco X Ray slash NFC. The major things we can see is the icons on the system. Icons like telephone, messaging, gallery. You can see icons has been changed. And these are the quick settings toggles. In the edit section, there are few more options like quick share, hyper HVM mode, FS counter. Let me add this and keep it turned on. And many people still have not subscribed my channel guys they are watching my videos but not subscribed and i have enabled the fs count you guys can see on the right top corner and that's how it looks like the home settings again you will get that widgets option and wallpaper style again lock screen customizations are given here and shortcuts other things you will revert back to these settings and in the home screen Again, you will get some. No, only one wallpaper is pre installed here. Themed icons, app grid up to uh, 6 into 10 is given. This is nothing but a superior extender, but it is known as from now Infinity X version 1.0. Basic camera application has been given. And if you want to use any Gcam port, you can definitely use it out, guys. My personal favorite is always I know build Gcam. Now, currently, LMC and AJC are also very much good and via browser is pre-installed here and coming to dialer you get a basic dialer here it's not a google dialer and you will make direct video call feature yes it's available and call recording is also there and it will not announce the other person that you are recording the call which is good thing game space is given let me add bgma kind of game here yeah I have been added and make it performance here we'll see the bgm gameplay within a while let's see the scores what i got here use this gallery application get started yeah get started make it all all yeah we'll start with the and to benchmark only 3,90,676 and the version what i used is 10.2.5 and temperature raise was 4.5 degrees Celsius and 4 percentage of battery has been topped the Geekbench version is 6.3.0 the scores are 743 is the single score 1862 is the multi score android version 14 kernel is not mentioned i already explained start of the video and basic integrative status profile match both getting passed but device is not certified you can make it out using magix model second guess this is the drm information hdr 10 support and level 1 certification watching ott application is also not a problem and this is the internet connectivity i have 8 fiber connection i'm getting up to 230 mbps and charging rapidly support is there around 539 it was 65 percent around 46 it was 74 again it will gradually decrease or increase based on the temperature also guys you need to note these points just don't complain that it is only supported some watt charges up to 33 watt charging support is available in this particular rom now we will close this settings yeah these are the recent apps the interface wise i haven't faced any of the issues as of now and settings this is how it looks like the vibration haptic feedback strength in the settings are so very much good coming with systems again system updates are given show me part some of the direct sound settings are given here headphone type and preset and the smart scene selection has been given kcl is given lcd features are given clear speaker options is given thermal profiles are given haptic feedback strength level you can adjust from here again we'll go into this one uh, location google maps everything is working fine here security and privacy you get both face and fingerprint unlock and also uh, app lock is not given here let's show you the fingerprint unlock first followed by the face unlock it is speed fast responsive definitely and face unlock it's also very much quick to unlock your smartphone using both fingerprint and face unlock that's really really good and accessibility menu again my personal favorite without actually using the physical buttons you can actually use them display settings again you will get outside everything only dark theme use black theme that is there and uh, 
display size and text you can customize colors again there are options refresh rate adaptive refresh rate is given adaptive wake is given sound and vibration again everything remains very similar to any you know, of the custom roms vibration and haptic you can enable or disable vibration strength is given in the uh, gesture settings and all those are given there and do not disturb mode is also available infinity suit here we get customization in different way status bar customizations are there padding and everything you can do qs panel customizations are also there here and these are some other buttons power menu gestures and notifications and gestures and navigation bar and this miscellaneous settings like unlimited google photo storage and high fps games you can unlock from here themes again you will revert back to these settings lock screen again there are some option monet color i mean theming style there are customizations coming to battery and battery life i can say one thing the battery life is good that's it battery optimization is there charging control is there these are the things you need to keep in mind and I haven't faced any issues really guys speed test again i really liking this rom it's different uh, version one they would have been improved still more better but still it's good in my opinion again and these are the recent apps it's smooth and fast and the response to the animation is also very good let's see the bgma how it handles in this particular rom the biggest downside is the graphic settings right even if they have mentioned the unlimited high fps games in games i mean the unlock high fps games that is not working as you can see only ultra options we are getting here it is showing the real time fps of the screen not this game you can check out hence i don't recommend these apps and settings as you can see there was a counter attack lag that's how it is even it's playable in 40 fps but they would have been given 60 or 90 by default as you can see there will be lag and this screen refresh rate is showing different here someone would think it's 120 fps support is there for this game no that's why i don't recommend to show this kind of fps count always trust my words that's more than enough for you how will be the experience in the ui as you can see it is good but it's up to the 40 fps only nothing kind of 60 or 90 that's how it is yeah we'll come back here that's the gaming experience guys if you have any specific questions regarding this particular rom comment down in the comment section and if you like the video give it a like guys i will be motivated to make similar kind of videos if you have um any still doubts join the whatsapp group and recommendation for this room is there but not that great uh we'll meet with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now